G'day guys, Naughty back again in regards to this um, VFA draft plan and stats on the recent um, Twin Rivers competition that was held a few weekends ago. I want to start by saying this is not having a go at the Twin Rivers competition. I think it was really well run this year. Um, the app-based comp was fantastic. All the sponsors they had on board were all appropriate. And um, I think they've done a great job. Let's hope it continues uh, for 2024. And uh, if it does, it continues in the same format with the app based. Um, I'd just like to um, have a look at angler reward for effort. This is mainly so the VFA get a bit of an idea of the Gippsland Lakes fishery before they start introducing uh, this one trophy fish in the new proposed bag limit. As you guys know, I don't know where this idea has come from, and I'm extremely concerned about it and worried. Okay, so the competition, there was 788 um, people or entries or anglers actually entered a fish for the two-day competition. So that's quite a good number of anglers that actually entered a fish. That could be a brim, tailor, salmon, ludric, perch, whatever. Um, and out of that 788, there was 786 brim caught. So that is less than one brim per ent entry or per angler for two days of fishing the Gippsland Lakes in the competition. So reward for effort is, as far as we can see, is pretty dismal. It's less than one fish per angler. And we also know that these stats are actually probably worse than that. And that's due to some of the anglers that entered caught five, maybe 10 fish, 10 brim that were entered on the app. I know of quite a number of very good anglers that are in the network that would have entered five, six, seven. I'm not sure about how many entered 10 because um, it's on an app. You just take a photo as you catch the fish and you enter them. So there's a lot of anglers out of that 788 that may not have even caught a brim. And some of those anglers out of that 788 that may have caught more than one. Um, so that puts the reward for effort for catching brim in a pretty dismal state. That's for two days fishing. We're not talking one, we're talking two days. Some anglers may have given up after day one because uh, due to their catch rate, they probably didn't want to have another crack on day two. Um, I think this needs to be pointed out um, that the Gippsland Lakes has nowhere near recovered. And the idea of adding 38 centimetre trophy brim to the new proposed bag limit is just not on. And, uh, the VFA need to look at it, take this uh, this competition, which is a very good sample um, of what the fishing is like in the Gippsland Lakes and process that into their thoughts and also get some angle of feedback. The angle of feedback, they real, as far as we can see and as far as I know and with my research, there's been not much correspondence or discussion with the angling community as per their 
Gippsland Lakes Rec Fishery Plan of 2020. The slot limit came into the current the current slot limit uh, between 28 and 38 centimetres came into play in 2000, early 2021. And so it's basically just a bit over two years while the nets have been gone. Um, anyway, I just wanted to touch base with everybody and give them a bit of a, a bit of an idea of the stats for the weekend. And, and uh, this is mainly focused video for the VFA to consider the stats before making any decisions that we may regret. 